<laughs> well, that was a blast from the past. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Melodic Virus, and welcome to the Halloween special of Gaming Trauma, the series where we refer to scary moments in gaming and analyse them to figure out why they are subjectively creepy. For this special episode, we'll be taking a look at the faces of the Game Boy Camera. But let me take this opportunity to discuss what the Game Boy Camera is. In case you don't know, the Game Boy Camera is an accessory released for the Game Boy in 1998. Although basic by today's standards, the Game Boy Camera was considered revolutionary at the time and ushered in a wave of digital cameras in an area where there really wasn't any. Aside from being able to take photographs, the Game Boy Camera allowed you to edit, animate and even print out photos saved onto the cartridge. There are also several mini games on the device, some of which are direct references to previous Nintendo games. The Game Boy Camera was regarded as a popular device at the time it came out, due to its popularity however. It was later found out that the Game Boy Camera had a sinister secret that haunted many kids throughout childhood. As you explore the Game Boy Camera's intriguing options further, you'll begin to realise that the device will randomly show these sinister error messages. The easiest way to get one of these errors is to go into the menu and choose the run option. This will show these error messages more frequently, particularly this one which- OH MY JESUS! Did Nintendo think this was okay to show off to kids? What makes it worse is that they can show up at complete random! Why not just negate this to a smaller, more hidden easter egg? I guess I better explain these faces to the best of my abilities. To be honest, there's not really much of an explanation here. The only evidence I could gather was on a creepypasta referring to these faces. Although I hate referring to creepypastas as evidence, I might as well lay out the basics here. The faces, supposedly, are of members of a demonic cult. This Starman looking guy being the leader, the guys with waves on their heads being the disciples, and the one without any symbols being a victim to the cult. Quite basic, I know, but also quite clearly not the definitive answer here. More than likely, it comes down to the strange and sometimes sick sense of humour brought on by Nintendo. So that's my take on the faces of the Game Boy Camera. If you want to see more content like this, be sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. I'd also like to ask that you check out my clip channel for bite-sized gaming clips and more. Goodbye!